uh, tonight you're supposed to write out this. So we're going to say, what is the relationship? And you'll remember that relationship means... Relationship means to graph, right? And that means a for every statement. And I want to know between temperature and pressure. Well, it's a lot easier to control the pressure, so I know that that's the independent variable. And the pressure is something that's not very easy to control, so I'm going to make that my dependent variable. So that means my if then when is if I increase temperature of a gas, then the pressure will, well, what do we think? If I speed up the particles, but I keep the volume and the, well, let's, let's leave this blank for right now. When volume and number of particles are kept constant. Okay, so if I speed up those particles, um, but I keep the volume the same, and I don't put any more particles in there, they're probably going to hit the sides of the container more often. So I'm going to say that that's going to increase the pressure. And let's see if that's true. So I'm going to scroll down here. Let's clear the ink here. I'm going to scroll down over here, and let's go ahead and switch to our little guy over here. And I am going to keep the volume and the number of particles the same. So let's go ahead and pump some particles in here. And we'll pump a few more. Okay, so notice that the temperature up here is not changing. And this little guy is holding the box so that the volume doesn't change too. So it looks like that at a temperature of 300 K, the pressure is about 1.63. So let's go ahead and write that in here at a temperature of 300 K. Oh. Three hundred K, it was one point six seven ATMs. Let's go with that. And then if I increase the temperature to four twenty two, two point four zero. Uh, 422 was that temperature. And let's go ahead and increase that temperature one more time. 571 and 3570. 3.2, 3.4. 3.33, let's go with that. And then let's go ahead and let's cool this sucker down here to about 194. And now we've got 1.06, what was it, 194, 1.06. And this one really belongs up here, but that gives us an idea. And let's go up above 570 if we can. And we'll keep going until we get to, let's say, six, 670. And it looks like at 671, it is 3.90. Six 
671, 3.90. And let's just do one more, because we got one more box. Let's see if we can speed it up even more. 838. And we got a pressure of about 5. 840. And we've got a pressure. Ooh, it looks like it's going down a little bit. That looks like it's around 4.9. 840, 4.9. Let's make sure that it stayed there. Oh, no. Let's go a little bit lower. It looks like it's a little bit lower. For these higher temperatures, it's really hard to do. Yeah, we'll go with that and see what happens. So you should have those down. And then t for tonight, then you guys are going to go back on this graph and graph this. And all I want is your slope and for every statement. We'll talk a little bit more about these particle pictures tomorrow. Okay? All right. Thanks, guys.